up with one here. This is an in-depth tour of a 2019 Toyota Velfire V6. This car is available for a test drive, so I'll leave the details in the description below. So if you're interested to book a test drive, feel free to click it. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Towards the front, you've got full LED headlights, as you can see. Looks quite nice. You can see towards the front of the grille there, you got some more chrome. Just a little nice detail. A little bit hard to see, but you can see that you've got some sort of like pearl metallic effect on the black trims. I mean, it's a little bit hard to see with the lighting. You can see on the angle there. I think you just saw it just there. It's a little bit hard, but um, it's actually quite nice. And I believe that's all part of the body kit here, which is by Model Star. Mm, Model Star, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I do apologize if I'm pronouncing it wrong. See, so you've got some more chrome as well to the front there. Got four parking sensors integrated to the front bumper there. Also you can see you've got a front camera as well. So very nice. Let's step around the sides here. Sorry I got a little bit of runny nose. Show your wheels. So here's your wheels. They are a 17 inch wheel, and it's 17 inch tyre, sorry. In terms of the tyres, they are a Yokohama Blue Earth E51 tyres. And they are made in Japan, in case you're wondering. Sorry, there's some noise going on because they're doing a little bit of a service as well, so I do apologise. Very nice. Also, I like is when you unlock the vehicle, you can get the, you get those delayed indicators, which is really cool. So you got cameras mounted on mounted on the side of your mirrors, which is really handy, especially when you're doing parallel parking or if you're reversing. Reason being is because you if it helps you to keep a good watchful eye on the sides, especially to avoid you from scraping your wheels. So it's actually quite useful. Also got indicators mounted into the side of your mirrors. So that's actually quite useful, especially when you're oh, press the button there. It's okay. So it's quite useful, especially when you're doing lane changes, because it's a lot easier for people to see you when the mount when the indicators are mounted that high. So pretty interesting stuff. You can see you've got some chrome here. It's very nice. See so your tail lights, all moist on the Velfire. You can see you've got a rear backup camera. And you got all the various stickers because this is obviously imported from Japan. Let's keep pressing the button, it's really annoying, isn't it? Velfire, V6. Got a single exhaust. Also have four parking sensors integrated into the rear bumper. Nice. I press this. Should be able to open the boost. Your tailgate, it's actually electric. It's supposed to open electronically, I think the battery is a little bit low, or maybe I've just done something incorrect. But you can see that you can fold the seats up, which is actually quite useful. And you got some storage here, which is actually quite handy. Got a space to save a spare tire as well, also really good. I might just leave that one up. I would fold that down, but I think it's just good in case I want to show you the receipts to have a better look. So it's pretty cool. So in terms of folding, it was like you pull this, you pull, sorry, you go, you pull that one, pull this one, and this nicely folds up. And then you've got the strap here, which holds them in place, which is actually pretty cool. But I'll just leave it up for now because I want to just show you how it works. So I got some carpeting also here. Very nice. You also got some hooks here, which is very useful if you want to fold these away. And then yeah, so you actually got some decent boot space, which is actually quite useful. Quite nice. And this is powered, I believe. Yep. Mm. Okay. 
And good thing when the, with the power ones is they close nicely, so you don't have to worry about someone sliming it. So it's also very useful. In there, you got your wipe bar, roof of the rear window, third braking light, and a cool spoiler as well. Show the interrupt. So here's the interior. So here's the interior of the Velfire V6. Let's put the key here. So as far as the front, you've got your gauges. So I thought I'd just let me just hold it up for a second. You can have a look at the gauges. So I've got a bit of a glare, which is kind of annoying, which happened in my previous video when I did this a Alpha version. It's kind of annoying, so I'll try my best. So you've got your rev counter. You've got temperature gauge for the engine. Then you've got your fuel gauge and your speedometer and you've got a little multi-function display which you can cycle through your trip computer and whatnot. It's quite cool. Pretty cool. Got this sort of wood towards the top here. Also very nice. Got some nice black stitching. Very nice here. See all the way here. Got your web controls. Whoop, turned it on but again by accident. I'll just turn it off so it's makes it a bit easier. So, got your wipe controls to the left, and then you've got your indicator and headlight controls to the right, and you can see it's actually pretty well made. All your buttons feel very solid as well, which is also very handy. Answer council calls for hands-free telephone. Seek three stations, very handy. Got some more wood here as well. Very nice, actually. Nice feeling as well. Also, all the materials you got a bit of vinyl, looks like you got here. Got some of this sort of Black stitching here, which I think is already, is it already thinkers? I think that's just an imitation of some stitching there, but it's been very nice. The material choices, even here, it's very good. This wood effect and the press this flush button, you got a nice perforate, sorry, um, padded glove box. It's actually really nice. So I'll just turn the head unit. Audio off. Let's turn it on one more time. Now this head unit looks a little bit different than the one I used in the other one. I don't think I was able to operate actually. So I think you had to turn on first before you can do anything. Now I'm not too sure if the stations are all being tuned, but you've got a JBL surround sound system. So the reason why I'm doing that is to avoid copyright to have a listen. It's just to avoid copyright, so it's just... It just sounds pretty good. I haven't even tuned it or anything, so I haven't actually done any... Actually, I might just do some light tuning. Yeah, so I'm just doing some light tuning. So, so the audio's pretty good. Um, in terms of the... How you go back? It's all in Japanese, I'm not very good at Japanese, but um, yeah, so I'm not, so as you can see, some of the sort of options are all in Japanese, so I can't really show you too much, all the other menus and stuff like that, so it's kind of unfortunate, but anyway, let's click around the button, see if it takes you to a menu. Oh, that's embarrassing, that's alright, well, um, I might do like a little separate video where I can have a probably a more of a detailed explanation of that. Oh, okay. I'll do. So you've got Bluetooth, telephone, what else you've got? Apps. That was a lucky guess actually. Display. Oh. Settings. I wonder if you've got Android Auto and Apple Cup. I'm not too sure about that, but I'll let you guys know in the description below. Got climb control. Let's turn on the fan speeds. There you go. Oh, fancy. A little bit different than the other one I used to, so that's why I was like kind of so in terms of the temperature, we'll see highest temperature looks like 31 degrees and the lowest it goes to is 18. It's all touch buttons, touch sensitive, which is different than the half odd that I did in my previous video. Auto, front, rear demister. Hmm, pretty cool. 
afternoon, you got electronic parking brake. Let's see, you've got some storage here, which is also padded as well. Also very nice. You can see you got you've got um the auto stop start, you can turn it off if you like. You've got heated seats, which can be also be cooled as well. Cooled, hot. Okay, got some cup holders. It's quite nice, and you can remove the divider as well. I might just keep this key with me in case I lose it. Got some more textured finish over here. But lift this up, you've got wireless charging, which is actually very useful. And you can lift this up, and you've got some storage with American style port. And you've got your 12 volt socket as well. And you've got a USB and AUX port, so pretty useful. Excuse the runny nose. You can see the seats also. I've got some nice stitching and all that. See, this is also very nice as well. Nice and perforated as well. Seats can also adjust it. You can move the seat forward and back, which is great for rear passengers. Got a sunroof, sunglass holder. See, you got interior illumination. Another thing that's actually kind of an another thing that I just forgot is this is actually fully digital so it's actually pretty handy so if I turn this on you could get a full view of the back which is great because if you've got blind spots you can actually see everything crystal clear which is great so it's actually really great so you get a full view without the drawbacks which is actually pretty cool so you get like as if you got a full screen rear view mirror switches are quite nice some more of the wood finish and you can see the nice stitching and stuff here I don't have my drink with me, so I can't actually show you the the storage options. It's kind of annoying, like just to show you how much storage you can put here. I'll just quickly show you the rear, and then show you the rear seats as well. You can see it's all very nice. Powered seats, very useful. Some more little storage here, and an ETC card, which is what they use in Japan because they that's how they do all the the what you call the oh, some more storage here. So how they do, they charge on the tolls when you go on the freeway and stuff like that. So I got a lot of cost for people who are interested in the car. As so you can see the rear. You can see the seats also got these cool, nice sort of style headrests. This can also raise. Good no idea, but let's press that fully to extend. So you can see you can extend it, which is actually really nice. Also, it's also perforated, which is also really great. And they've got ISO 6.30 so on the mount a child seat. Can be done. So very useful. And then you can slide the top section, put them back, and obviously you can fold that too. Very cool. Got some handles here just to give you a bit more, to make you feel a bit steady. Also a nice carpet here, so I'll just jump inside just to show you. Lots of room. Obviously I'm quite small, so there's going to be more room. So I press this, it'll electronically nicely close. Nice ventilation here too. Got some shades, so I can block out the sun if you like. Got some more storage here for your drinks. Cup holder here. So I was about to move the little one there. You know, I already showed you how that worked. Illumination, which for your lights, which I'm not too sure which one it. Oh, okay. So if I press this one, I might do on the other side. So if I press this one, it illuminates a little light in the corner there, which I'll just show you. So press that again. You can see a little light there, and then you can actually direct the light wherever you like. Some more storage here. It's actually pretty useful. You can put your phone, your wallet, things like that. Rear climb control options, very useful. And rear entertainment, so you can actually do that. And you've got uh, your you've got a bigger sunroof as well, very useful. You can see the seats, very similar to the front seats, except for the headrests, which are a little bit different. You can see they're all nicely perforated. So one of the guys who works here, he wants to 
do a, I think he wants to take some pictures because he wants to show customers. But I'm in the middle of the video, so can't make some noise. Oh, didn't realize. Looks like you've got a table there which actually can swing out. I didn't see that. So you can see the seat's actually pretty good. And yeah, it's actually really nice. And you got you can fold this down as well, which I already mentioned. And you do have a wide view on the rear already, which is actually quite good. But um, obviously having the back camera makes it a little bit easier. But yeah, for these extra seats, they're good. And normally the extra seats are never really good, but on this, they're really great. So you get perforation and got some nice stitching here too, which is actually really, really great. Very nice. Not too sure how to pull out that central, central vehicle. Oh, okay, so it just, okay, so it just folds out like that, there you go. So, two couples there, and two for the extra passenger there. Pretty cool. And then that presses like that and comes down. Just show you the dashboard. Actually, could stand here, happy show a good view so you can actually see the dashboard from the rear seat. So I can show you that infotainment system, it's a little bit different, like I said, than the other one. Again, getting a little bit of distractions as usual. Let's show you again inside. Quickly show you the, I just forgot the engine. Should just quickly show you the engine. It's gonna be a little bit hard because obviously I'm having one handed, so it may look a little bit strange. Yeah, I'll try my best. I have to speed up a little bit because because one of the guys are working here needs to do some things. So a bit hard to see, but I just want to show you the engine buried away. You can see V6. There, dipstick. Kind of scared I'm gonna drop, drop my camera all the way in there. Well, that's my little walk around of the 2019 Toyota Velfire V6. Like I said, this car is for sale. If you're interested to book a test drive, I've there's a link in the descri description below if you're interested to purchase this vehicle or just to get more information. So I hope I hope this was useful and I'm sorry for the mistakes in the video and the little interruptions, but anyhow, um hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.